Aroma is something that triggers emotions and memories, and that's what this piece was about. I started in this case with a sketch and the perfect model to depict this emotion. Then moved into working on the maquette, which is about six inches tall. Mostly at this stage, it's getting the shape right. And here you can see the armature where I'm putting the clay and making it in real size, in this case about 30 inches tall. I like to get my anatomy right, so I put the dress on later, making sure that I had knees and elbows and everything where I needed them to be and that real size is where I will concentrate on getting the anatomy just right, getting the folds of the dress, all the detail that's really fun, you know, all the way down to the fingernails. Once the sculpture is complete in the, in the clay, it, it goes through a very complex casting process at, at the foundry, and the first phase of that is the mold. The mold is absolutely crucial because it has to capture all the detail. It takes a lot of skill in every phase. A system of gates and sprue are added to increase the flow of the bronze. The molten bronze is cooling at a very rapid rate and it slows down and does not pick up the details. Every single phase you really have to know what you're doing or the entire piece could be lost. The cleaned up waxes are covered with ceramic shell and this happens in many different layers and this shell is heat resistant. We're going to be melting the bronze out. That's where the name comes from, the lost wax method of casting. The hotter it is, the more flow it has and picks up greater detail. The colder it is, the slower it blows. Once the bronze cools, the uh, gates and sprue are removed the pieces are welded together and then the piece is chased. And that is a process of removing any imperfections and seam lines. Once that's put together, the metal is cleaned and prepped for patina. And that's a very fun phase where we get to apply chemicals to the heated metal and get colors and effects that enhance the feeling of the piece. I work with one of the best foundries around and uh, these guys have been doing this for 30 plus years and uh, so I feel real lucky that uh, you know we get a we get a great result.